Hey everybody, Weem here. Welcome to Scrap Mechanic. I cannot tell you guys how excited I am to bring this game to you. Back in September, I actually sent an email to the developer and said, you know what, I've been kind of watching this game, watching the videos and everything, and I am super excited to bring this to my viewers. I think they'd be really into it. And uh, they got back to me and said, you know what, I think we can do something about that when the time comes. And uh, the time has come. The game actually will be um, in early access on Steam on January 20th, that's currently the 17th. I've actually had the copy in my email for the last few days and didn't notice it. <laughs> I've been busy with a number of other things. Found it last night when I had friends over at about 3 in the morning after playing a bunch of Diablo and said, you know what, let me install this, let's check this out. And we were laughing so hard, we were crying last night with all the different things uh, we were making, throwing jets on there, flying around in the air, but um, yeah, anyway, it's been awesome. But let me kind of give you the quick gist of the game. Very simple. You got a large open world here, sandbox style. We can go around and uh, build things wherever we want. Right now, you can't tear down trees or dig or anything. We've got this world, and I believe it's the same for everybody. It's laid out the same. It looks the same as it does in the videos. But that's for now. We just have creative mode. But there is a survival mode that's coming. In some of the videos, you can see uh, mechanical creatures coming after the player and everything. Very cool stuff. But yeah, let me get in here and give you the basics. So obviously I have a vehicle right here, four wheels, seat, engine. I actually have a switch for it as well. And then we have uh, parts down here and everything in my hot bar. And if I hit I, I can kind of go through here. You can see the different parts. We have bearing, suspension. Uh, we have a switch, which I'm using on there. I've got the basic engine. So I'm going to just kind of quickly show you uh, how the vehicle is connected together. And then maybe I'll show you how to kind of quickly put something together. Um, now what I'm going to do is I've got this controller here and this guy allows you to connect some of the bits that you've snapped together into uh, other things so you can control them. So right now I have a bearing here and a bearing here, but this one is actually connected to the steering wheel so it's green and you can see that I'm allowed to kind of turn these. That'll, that lets me steer it. I've got basic bearings here not to connect it, not connected to anything because they just need to allow the wheel to roll just like we do here. Only in this case we're actually connected to the engine so it's orange and you can see that they will rotate forward. Now on the engine we're actually connecting it to the switch which uh, highlights this in pink and by connecting that to the steering wheel it's given it a key of one. So if I jump in the seat here really quick because my head flops around there <laughs> you can see that on the hot bar in the number one slot I have the switch. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit this and that basically turns the engine on which rotates the wheels back here and then because this is connected to the bearings at the front, the steering is, I can actually steer this around. So this is probably about as basic as you would go in this game as far as vehicles. Now you can imagine the possibilities, and especially uh, if you've watched some of the developer videos, they've made some really crazy stuff. They give you a lot of tools to make some very complex elements, and not just in vehicles. You can make buildings that have a switch on the outside that when you click them a door opens. They have a really cool video, um, and I'll put it down in the description, uh, about the controller and uh, the things you can do with it. And they made a vehicle that almost transforms. It's very cool. So like I said, I'll drop that down in the description. But um, as you can see, very simple. We can drive around here. Uh, we could decide to you know, build something wherever we want. We could make a large building if we want. Uh, let me turn this off here. If I bring up the menu, you can see we not only have vehicle parts, but if I go down, we've got uh, building, all kinds of structure elements and everything. And you can still connect these to various bearings and make doors and everything like that. So anyway, it's very cool. Let me jump off of here and kind of give you the quick basics. So I've got a lift here, and you kind of build everything off of a lift. I'm going to set this on the ground. You can see that unfold. And then we've got a block type. I have wood. You have a couple other kinds as well, but right now I just have wood. So let's go ahead and just drag a shape out here. Now what I found is I just drag a shape that I want, something like that. And you can see it's really not centered on there. And I kind of want it, because well, I want it centered on there, because I may want to put a wheel here. So what I end up doing is you can actually remove the lift, and then uh, with the lift selected, you can left click the uh, structure and then move it around. So you can see it now has the lift centered with that platform on it. And I could just kind of put this wherever I want. Let's go ahead and just drop it uh, there. So there you go. Now you can see that we've got the lift, we've got the platform, we are good to go. Now getting started in here is actually really cool. If I go to the uh, number one thing in my slot, you can see mechanics handbook. And if I bring that up, it says how to play. And we've got different tabs for the different elements here. So the bearings, it kind of walks you through here. This only has one page. Uh, with the engine, you've got all of this stuff about how this works. So very cool visual aid and brief description on how to get that going. But a lot of it's left to you to kind of play around with it. So let's see, we have the platform out here somewhere. There it was, it was right behind me. And to give you an idea of what I did to the vehicle um, that I've made there, uh, with the arrows you can just kind of quickly lift or lower this. <laughs> it's so cool. 
<laughs> okay, let's actually go a little higher with that. And uh, again, I'm just going to kind of show you how I um, essentially set up the vehicle that we've got over there. So let's see, I already have the material down that I need. Let's put these up front. Something like that. Oh, I do need more block. <laughs> what am I thinking? I haven't been using that hammer though, so... So we've got, the, we've got the bearing there, and if I put that there, it actually looks like it's kind of flattened out on there, but it is there. So that will turn left to right. And then we're going to put this guy here. Right? And then we want to stick a bearing on each end so that the wheel attached to it can actually spin. Something like this. And that. Very cool. Now I kind of want the wheels to be at the same uh, height. Well, you don't have to actually. I mean, we can do this and have it be a bit taller in the back. And this one, I don't need the wheels to rotate back here um, as far as turning them. Um, they, they do need to be able to rotate as the vehicle goes forward or as the engine drives it forward. So there we go. We're going to slap a wheel here. Slap a wheel there. So there you go. You can see these wheels in the back are a bit lower. I can actually just remove the lift entirely and we'll drop down there. So there you go. And you see the wheels just kind of turn because they have nothing controlling them right now. So let's see, we do have the engine here already. Let's just stick that right here. It looks like I didn't make this uh, the right width, so it won't be centered, but that's okay. <laughs> I don't need it all symmetrical right now. Those of you who watched a lot of my videos know that I do like to have things symmetrical, but this is just a quick intro. So we're gonna let that go. Okay, I've got a seat. I'm just gonna jump up here. I'm gonna rotate this around. That'll work. So there you go. We've got the seat. We have the engine. We need a switch to turn on the engine. We'll just put that there. And then we can go to our controller here. Now, I think there's a name for this tool, but I couldn't tell you what it is. <laughs> I'm not really sure. I don't quite recall. So let's see. What we need to do is we need to connect the um, we need to connect the steering down to the bearings that turn the wheels, just like that. So you can see we can go anywhere. We can even do things on the other side of the vehicle. It's very cool. So drag that there. Drag this guy here. So now the steering wheel is connected to this. We'll connect the engine over to the switch. And then we need to connect the engine back here to power the wheels. Again, I don't have to go around the vehicle. I tend to find myself wanting to do that. <laughs> but I will walk around here so you can actually see how that is uh, hooked up there. And then we just need, in order to actually hotkey this, we're gonna bring it up here to the steering, that switch. So there you go. Set as number one. Now, I'm looking this over, I I think we're good here. I think I actually have to turn the engine up because I don't have a controller to kind of determine the power level. So we'll do something like that. Eh, maybe a little higher. Okay, are we ready? I think so. Let's hop on here <laughs> and uh, hopefully we'll dodge the trees. Now I'm noticing the steering is off. You can see if I turn left, it's going right. So I forgot that's the thing I need to do um, right off the bat is kind of rotate this from the way it is. And then one of these is always backwards. There you go. So that would have been a calamity. <laughs> Alrighty, let's do it. Let's hit it. Hit one. There you go. Oh, turn. There we go. Now I had the engine turned up on this one a little bit more than the other one. <laughs> oh, keep it on the wheels, Ween. <laughs> Very cool. Now things don't break apart in here. I, I don't, I'm kind of like mixed about that. I like the idea of it fully breaking apart, but sometimes when you really crash something, that would have been devastating to have to put it all back on and remember all your controls. So I'm actually okay with it here. I think this is a good opportunity to uh, to learn the game. Now I want to keep this video brief. I really just wanted to kind of show you guys the game, give you the quick description of it. So I think we might leave it at that. But I do want to ask you guys to please leave me a like on the video. Leave me a comment if you'd like to see more. I would really appreciate that. Um, let's kind of get back on here and turn the engine off. There we go. <laughs> As I said, leave me a like, leave a comment if you would like to see more of these. I'm going to be playing this quite a bit. I'm really excited about it. I would like to make a building maybe up on the hill. I want to experiment with a lot of the different things here, not just in vehicles that drive, but vehicles that fly and as well as kind of automating things in the uh, structure itself, you know, if I make like a base. So anyway, like I said, I really would like to see if you guys are interested in seeing some of that. I may do that, uh, you know, off camera, I suppose, if people didn't seem that into it. But if you guys want to see that, then I will definitely make some more videos of that. I would really appreciate hearing from you guys. I do want to thank you guys for watching. As always, I really appreciate that. And uh, this has been Scrap Mechanic, and I will catch you guys next time. So you to there, then you to here, right? Okay, so it's it's two. <laughs> yep. Oh, jeez. <laughs> All right, here's one <laughs> and two. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> I got this, guys. <laughs>